All right, continuing with our piece here. Now, we've got it down pretty good. Where we're working with it. Alright, we're going to start bringing this area around the arms and stuff, kind of bringing it up. It's a little bit too hump shouldered. So we're going to start bringing that area up in there. Like I said, we always start off with a lot more than what we normally have. We can always remove wood, folks. We just can't add wood to it. So, and we're going to work around these legs and feet and stuff like that. We are doing what's called carvings of the past. These are old rough uh, carvings that uh, you would find in old hardware stores or something like that by mistake or it's been carved by a, a uh, it's usually an individual, not necessarily an artist, but an individual that just uh, Folks, carving, a lot of people had a lot of, when I'm saying a lot of time, I mean, a lot of these people worked very hard jobs. And they worked jobs where they were away from home and stuff like that. And so in the afternoons after they would work, there would be a little bit of spare time. And they would... Uh, they, those that learn how to carve or whittle or have something to do, these are the characters that they would carve. They would just uh, sit down and they didn't do it for money. I mean, they, they just did it for enjoyment, for pleasure. Or maybe they'd sell a piece or something like that. It's kind of like the old tramp art that we had uh, years and years ago where the tramps or the hobos would carve them out of boxes and stuff like that. And these people just had plenty of time on their hands. They had, uh, uh, they were, um, going from place to place, and they had plenty of time, and they would sell those things. That, uh, tramp art right now is becoming very collectible. Uh, they would sell those things to, uh, uh, people for, you know, maybe a meal or, or whatever, but... Tramp art right now is a very collectible type thing that was made uh, during the time that people traveled and well, tramps or hobos as we commonly prefer to them as. I'm bringing this arms back now a little bit, taking a little bit off of them. Like I said, I can do that now by uh, But, uh, so, uh, like I said, a lot of that stuff is very collectible now. A lot of it's very well known. And figures like this are the same way. They were, uh, a man worked away from home. And, uh, or maybe the old coal miners or something like that. And so they didn't have a lot of money or whatever, and they would sit there and they would whittle with a pocket knife or something like that. And someone would buy it from them and it would end up in a, a store somewhere or out of a family or something like that. The family would die or the guy would die and it would end up in someone else's hands. Somebody would sell it to a store for a little or nothing. And the artistry and the work that this man had put into something. And a lot of that stuff was very, very crude. It was extremely crude because 
of the tools that they would use and um, I saw a um, okay we're as we begin to bring this back we're starting to really show uh, uh, the piece uh, I saw a on eBay over here a while back they had a um, uh, a rendition of, of Andy Anderson's Shotgun Wedding. Uh, and it was uh, uh, made in, I think, 1920s or 30s or something like that. And uh, it was very, very crude. I mean, the, the, the figures, the faces, everything was extremely crude. And I think they won 500 something dollars for it. But I'm just saying that, that someone carve that. Someone had the time and the stuff to carve it. And we need to respect all art. Okay. See this? We need to respect all art, whether it's crude or it's not. And I guess if you love wood carving and you love carving, you will respect the art of others. I remember a woman one time brought me a um, cane this man had beautiful pieces on the cane and shapes and figures and she was a disabled woman and she heard that I carved so she brought me the cane and she didn't like the figures on it I she had a snake and stuff and she wanted me to uh, here we go look at that see starting to really take shape now she wanted me to sand the the cane completely down of the figures and stuff and just make her a smooth cane out of it and uh, when I, I, I got to thinking about it, looking at it and thinking of all the work that this man went into it and I just told the lady I said no I'm, I'm not gonna do that I will not uh, I will not uh, ruin this man's good work and she really got upset about it she didn't you know so what what did it matter you know I'm paying you to do it so and I told her well no ma'am I'm not gonna do it it's, you can pay someone else to do it but not me I'm not gonna destroy this man's work and I tried to buy it from her she wouldn't let me do it so anyway uh, that's what oftentimes happens in a lot of cases okay we're just kind of rounding off here a little bit and uh, I'm sorry I, I didn't know that phone was in here all right now look at this we've got uh, slowly but surely getting this piece together Just sort of going around it. Now look at that, see? I need to just take a little bit more out in the middle here. And we need to respect and honor, no matter how crude a carving is, 
You know, a lot of people today, the artists today, they get to the, they see something that's done crudely many years ago, and they laugh at it. They make fun of it. Oh, well, that's not, uh, you know, golly, and that's crude. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I respect any type of art, even if it was done many years ago and stuff like that. And a lot of carvings, they are crude. Maybe they don't have the, the wonderful uh, stuff that we put in on it today. But I'm going to tell you, uh, respect what these guys, even if it was a guy that sat on a, on a porch somewhere and whittled out a little figure, respect that because that because was someone showing their art, artistic ability. I'm going to go ahead and put the things in the arm. Someone that was expressing their artistic ability. Same here. And we need to respect that. Get these shoes kind of And that's why I want to do this series called Carvings from the Past. Because even though, uh, and I'm going to try to make it crude also looking. Because these people, I said, we must have a respect as a carver or as anything of what was done by people long ago, no matter how crude it was. Now look at that, see? Because remember, folks, that's where we came from. That's who we learned from. Not everybody is, a, is an artist, okay? Some people just are crafters and they do good things. All right. Now look at that. All right, my time is almost up again. Boy, before you know it, it's here. And we will continue to finish this piece uh, the best way we can <laughs> oh boy oh we want to be sure and just go across here with our our shirt we could have done this with a v-tool Whatever. All right. Well, my time's up right now. And uh, so, okay. <laughs>